you guys, if you could see my life right now, you'd cringe. Howdy guys! Um, today is Tuesday, October 25th, and I am long overdue for a floss tube video. Life just got so crazy, I didn't get a chance to do my mid-month update. And then with Stitch Mania's new challenge coming with the election stitch along, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a little hashtag dark October stitching update because that's pretty much all I've done for these last few weeks in October. I've done a couple other things, but this is it. I'm going to put away my dark October stitching and focus on this uh, election style and some pieces that I haven't loved in a while. And some, I don't know, might, might not make it. There might be casualties. Anyway, let's get started. Um, good to see you all. I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I took a look at my stats uh, a few days ago, which I don't do very often. And since YouTube doesn't send me notifications of new subscribers, I had no idea. So thank you. Um, everyone who subscribed, that warms my heart. Hopefully I am providing a little bit of entertainment while you're doing what you do during the day or at night. Um, I appreciate all of you. It's awesome. So, thanks for that. Um, you can find me on Instagram mostly and in some Facebook groups, but my Instagram information is below if you want to check that out. I'm trying to get a lot better at posting every night when I stitch. But then my postings in the uh, Facebook groups go down. Oops, sorry. Can't be perfect, right? Can't be all things to all people. So let's get going. First thing that I did at the beginning of the month, I think I actually started this on August 31st. Sorry, I have a headache like right here. You guys ever get that? <laughs> It doesn't help that it's so bright out. I'm not going to complain. Tomorrow it's going to rain. So anyway, the 30th or 31st, August 31st, September. No, September 31st. Thank you. September 30th. I don't know. I don't know the saying. September 30th. I started working on my Frosted Pumpkin Magical Creatures. And it took me... This was my first bit of Dark October stitching. And it took me four nights, I think. But I got October done. Isn't she cute? I love it. And look, if you look, here's the whole piece. I finally cut my fabric down. I'm so proud of myself. So here's the whole piece. October. I'm trying to think. What did I do with October? I used... Jeez. I'm really bad at this. I used the uh, Glow in the Dark DMC for the moon. I used most Silk Banana for the yellow in the house, so it's kind of shiny. Um, I used Fabrics by LJ Plum Variegated Thread in the house. I used Mohs Sail Young Anna for the grass. Um, and there, this, there's blue in there somewhere, so I just turned off my computer. The blue stripes, you can barely see them right here, that is Moe's Mongoose, I think. And the glow in the dark for the little stars. I like it. Two more left. Two more, those bottom ones. I'm so excited. This has been so fun. So I can't thank Adele and Shan enough for creating this Facebook group. I think we should do this every year. That's what I think. I said it. So I did that. After that, I decided to work on my Lakeside Needlecraft uh, Doreen Jones stitch along. Mm -mm. Guys, this is as far as I got. I don't like this. I don't like stitching this. I love the design. Here's the whole thing, what I have done. Um, I'm 
stitching this on a 28 count Jobelin in Bittersweet Light from Witch Out. It's so many colors. There really doesn't look like that many. It's only like three or four. <laughs> it's just so many color changes. And I know why, and I know it looks amazing in the backs. I am not enjoying this piece. And I'm looking at the little um, witch that goes along with October, and there's like 5,000 colors in the witch's outfit. No, I, can't, I just can't do it. So I'm going to try to maybe substitute some variegated threads to get some variegation in there and maybe dummy down the colors and just rely on the back stitch to make it pop because it's too much for me. It's too much. I don't like it. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out, right? Then it's a give up. It's a give up. I don't know what I'll do with it. It'll be a give up. It's a lot to pick out to save that fabric. I don't know. So I put that away after I got angry and decided to pull out my full moon club stitch along from the primitive hair. It's coffee in my fabric. I was so sad when I saw that Danielle from Stitcherista sold her Old Salem linen, linen and I was not the one to get it because I love this stuff. Um, I got the January block done. This took four or five days. So I'm using all of the DMC called for and the 30 count Old Salem linen that I ordered straight from Isabel at the Primitive Hair. So mine came from Italy. Though then I realized the other places in the state sold it. So I thought that was kind of funny. But there it is. January Wolf Moon. My little thing up here is off. I probably shouldn't have told you that. But I did. So it's a little off but I don't care. That was deceptive. This one took some time to get done. I made errors in the side too. I love the way this fabric smells. Well, let's just take a minute again. <laughs> there it is. I love it. So, I love that piece. That poor kid. It's so bad for him. <sighs> Do you guys remember who was with me last year? when my kids were sick for like ever. Do you guys remember that? When they were literally sick from like mid-October to May. We got flu shots this year. We got flu shots. Because last year we didn't and I swore we would never ever skip flu shots again. We got them. Now we've got colds. Oh well. What are you going to do? Um... Tempting Tangles, the Welcome Sal, has released, I think, two pieces. Yes, two pieces since I showed this last. Remember my revelation? Guys, I don't think this is going to fit on this fabric. Thank God it does. Barely. But parts three and four have come out. <laughs> you see how close that is? But there it is. I'm using the recommended uh, DMC. And this is on a 25 count, even weave, not 28, 25. So pretty, still enjoying it quite a bit. Fast stitch, I can usually get those done in an afternoon or an evening, depending on when I start. So two of those done this time. I also started, I don't remember if I showed this yet, but um, I joined the Beautiful beautiful Sea uh, Stitch Along from Ships Manor, and there is a Facebook group, and I'll try to link all of this stuff below, and the first two have released from that. So this is the first, the first two. I am using Eric's Threads from Ships Manor. Uh, there's nine of them, and if you purchase them for this stitch along, look at that, let's do this. Purchase them for the stitch along, they're 15 bucks. They're so beautiful. So, 
there are those. I am stitching this on a 32 count Opal Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics in Nyad. Those also stitch up in like a day or two, depending on when you start. So then for dark October stitching, I did, what did I do? Clouds Factory, Primitive Hair, and then I pulled out my Gwen Mirabilia. I started this, I don't remember if I started this for the Cross Stitch Crazy Challenge in January or if I started it for Stitch Mania, I really don't recall. But here's what Gwen looks like. You all know Gwen, right? Found a mistake in Gwen and her dress. Her dress is green, right? You see that? <laughs> so, why was I stitching a purple in there? I mixed up one of the sig the symbols and was stitching the purple from the flowers in her dress. I was so mad. I did that back in May. So, I had to frog that. But I did. And I finished all of the black in her dress and the first green color. Which you may be able to see. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, there's that. Uh, this is on a 32 count linen desert sand. Desert sand is what it's called and I got it from the Rainbow Stitchery when they were doing their clearance fabrics going out of business. Bye Gwen. I worked on her for four or so days. And then the last dark October stitching that I worked on was my Lizzie Kate Spook Sampler on part two. I didn't get very much done. I wish I would have, but I didn't. So, this is it. Oh, oops. This, I got some threads. Got some threads because I was working on it last night. And then I threaded my needle and put it away. So that's all I got for part two. Here's part one. I can't see. Part one and part two. I do love this piece. I don't know if I'll work on it again because it does feel very Halloween-y. Right? It's very Halloween-y. Um, I purchased my kit from down sunshine lane so the fabric is 32 count belfast and ale from picture this plus and i also got the embellishment pack so i will be using that that's all my stitching that's all my stitching for 24 days i feel like i got a lot done there's a few days that I didn't get to stitch though, because life, right? Excuse me while I just throw these on the floor. Gotta go file those away. So, when I wasn't stitching, I was purchasing things. Yep, did a little bit of purchasing. Not a lot, but a little bit. Do you wanna see it? I hope so, because I'm gonna show you. forehead all close to the camera. This is my floss tube bag. I know a lot of us have them. So I'm going to pick all random like. I purchased a couple patterns from Etsy and eBay. I think this is an eBay purchase. Ah, yeah. <gasps> Look at I got it. I got it. So this is the Bird Keeper by the Good Housewife. Um, Emily from Eclectic Possessions is doing this right now. I have been eyeing this pattern for months. And I was just like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's out of print. It's expensive. I pulled the trigger. I found it on eBay for a buy it now for a price that didn't make me sweat. So I got it. I'm so excited. Can't wait to start that sometime soon. Cause I love it. It's just so cute. 
and I just have a feeling that the colors on it are going to be way better that show than what they show up on there. But look at those little flowers. They're like so pretty. So excited to have that. So excited. So also, I got another one on Etsy. In her house, I love this one as well. I'm gonna take it out of the package. Also by The Good Housewife. Um, I think it's funny, this one actually has price on it, which I didn't see before. It says $10. I paid more than $10 for this. But again, I paid a price that did not make me sweat. Some of them do. Boy, there's a couple that I want that are way expensive. Um, sorry, the glare from my window, but there it is. And it, what does it say? Good Huswives provide air sickness do come of sundry good things in her house to have some. Good aqua composita and vinegar tart, rose water and treacle to comfort the heart. I just think it's so cute. It calls for silks or DMC. You know, I will not be using silks because... I am salty about NPIs. I love this. It's so pretty. I just can't wait. I just can't wait. So, yay. There's one that I absolutely love, and it's got tulips on it. And is it called Her Tulip Garden? People, there's somebody on eBay selling it for like 150 bucks. And then there's somebody selling it for like 80. $80 makes me sweat, just so you know. It's a hard line right there. No, I'm not spending $80 on a cross stitch chart. I can't. I got something in this package here. Oh, I had a little bit of a gift card to burn at Stitchy Box. So I purchased some of the limited edition threads that had come in some of the stitchy boxes. I don't know what their names are because they aren't on here. I guess I should probably go back and look on their website and write them down. But here they are. I just bought one of each one that was available. They're so pretty. I wish my light wasn't blowing them out because they're gorgeous. So that was fun. I always use thread, right? Always use some thread. I purchased some more of these from the Dollar Tree. Because why not? Apparently I'm starting all the things. I got some more needle minders from Julie because of course I did. My, all my pre-orders came in so I'm pretty excited about these. And then she just had another sale and she posted a bunch of like winter pre-orders like Bumble the Abominable Snowman from Rudolph and Rudolph and Santa and Hermie the Dentist. I had to say no. No. But these ones I didn't say no to. And so I got Morticia. And Gomez, a weeping angel from Doctor Who, and then my two Wonka guys, Willy Wonka and the Oompa Loompa. Aren't they cute? So part of the reason why I didn't buy more that she had for pre-sale, these are heavy. And so holding these on like your Q-snap when you're sewing or stitching, like, if I had a frame, I'd probably be more about it. More on that in a minute. So. So pretty. Fun fact. I burned my thumb this morning on the toaster. True story. It hurts. Okay. So, needle minders that I have no place to put because my needle minder board is full. Um, my fabric of the month came from Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. 
This is a very pretty 32 count Belfast in lapis. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I could put something Halloween-y on here. I love Halloween. I don't know. Let's see. I... What do I have in here? I bought... I did not buy this. <coughs> I bet you my neighbor brought that over for me. It's 14 count, Ada. I bought some yarn, guys. I bought yarn because I want to knit the shawl. So, Nicole from Nicole's Needlework, if you're not watching her channel, you need to be. She does gorgeous stuff. She knits, and she was knitting this Weigh It shawl, and I was like, yeah, I need to do that. I want to knit something. That looks pretty easy. So I went out and bought the pattern. Wonder if I have the pattern someplace. Who knows? We're oh wait, here, here it is. <clears throat> it's a bad picture. That's the color in the pattern. Or not the color, the what the way it looks. I will try to find a picture and insert it here. And so I thought I just really want to do that, so I'm going to. So I went out, found the pattern, found the yarn that they use, and it's this uh, Miss Babs Babette. Um, this is a light worsted yarn. It's a super wash merino wool. Can you see all that? Look at this color. <gasps> Yes, this is happening. Oh my gosh. I didn't cake it because it's just, it's so pretty I needed to just look at it for a while longer. It's so rich and just gorgeous and fall. Um, and it's so soft. And it smells so good. Julia, this is for you. Mmm, I love it. I need to be caking that up soon because I'm getting the itch to knit. Very excited. And it came with this little skein of um, whatever this is. Silk. Worsted weight silk. 60% merino wool, 40% silk. I don't know. Embarrassing. Swatch me. Here is her card in the website right there. If you like to look at yarn or buy yarn, she's got some gorgeous colorways. Then the last thing, not the last thing, the second to the last thing that I got was a swap package from um, Under the Sea Fabrics. She did her Halloween bag, Halloween swap package, Halloween box. Mystery box. I don't know what she calls it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a little freebie of the good housewife because I bought something. So anyway, so Laura is her name. I didn't ask if I could say her name, but I just did. So I'm just going to say Laura was my partner and she sent me the sweetest things that I'm going to show you. So I don't know if she watches, but if you do, hi! Thank you. I love your stuff. Um, the Prairie Schooler Bump in the Night. I'm pretty sure that was from my wish list. Because who doesn't love the Prairie Schooler? You know I do. Um, she sent me this package of DMC flosses. These are beautiful. So I'm excited about those. This little froggy needle minder. Look at that. And I've never seen. I've never seen. Um, oh, maybe she made it. I don't know. But I love it. I have to check out that site. Super cute. 
I don't know. Some more Thread Heaven. My Thread Heaven's like 15 years old. I haven't opened this, but I'm curious to see what it looks like. <laughs> so, let's see if it looks any different. And some embroidery scissors, because you can never have too many of those. This Wonder Woman Pez machine. So fun fact, another fun fact, I used to collect Pez machines back in the day. I think I still have a whole box of them. Um, not in their packages, I would always rip them out of course, but I love Pez machines. And the really fun thing is that some of the things she actually wrapped in Halloween fabric. So how cute, these little witches. This graveyard fabric, look at that. Fun for finishing. And a couple pieces, oops, I dropped that one, a couple pieces of lace. So I love everything. Thank you. Love it all. It was so fun. I love these little mystery packages because I like to get presents. And I like to buy stitchy things, but I don't need to buy everything for myself because I have enough, right? Stitch Stash 2017, go check it out. Mm -hmm. That's it. <clears throat> oh no, it's not. I said I had one more thing. So somebody posted on Stitch Mania. I wish I knew who it was. I don't. Thank you though, somebody posted on Stitch Mania a couple weeks ago that there was a seller on Amazon who was selling the um, Easy Stitch scroll rods and lap frame for like five bucks. I was like, huh, you know, I've been thinking for some of my bigger projects, God, it would be really nice to have a stand so I'm not constantly holding my Q-snap or things like beads, beads, things that are gonna get beaded, right? I can't snap my Q-snap on that, and then I'm going to have to like beat in hand, and be, what a pain, blah, blah, blah. So boy, wouldn't it be nice to have some scroll frames. So I bought them. So for 30 bucks, I got, I'm trying to see if I can find the package, because I sure don't know. Oh, here it is. Pardon me, I'm going to disappear for a second. How's that shoulder? So there are one, two, three, four, five, I think six, maybe eight, <laughs> I don't remember, full range of score rods from six inches to 60 inches, I did not get any 60 inch ones, that's a lie. The tag that was at the top is actually over in my planner right now. So anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm pretty sure there are six maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, there's lots in here. And they're the easy base system, so they come with um, like this Velcro stuff. So this is what you put on your fabric, and then Velcro stuff is already on your rod. I put one together already, just a small one, just to see how it goes together. Uh, it comes with two stretcher bar sizes, six and eight, I want to say. So this is the bigger one. Five dollars plus shipping. Now, granted, shipping was like twelve bucks or something. Oh well, these um, are not available at that price anymore. They're back to I think the the scroll frame set is like fifty four dollars, and then I also bought the lap stand. So it's American Dreams, Tomorrow's Treasures lap frame and stand. So this comes with a 20 inch um, scroll frame and the stand. I have not put it together. I think it won't take long, but I'm considering recording it. Watch me do it, <laughs> see what happens. Um, because I think that I wanna, I think that I wanna use it. Like this would be awesome to use for Save the Stitches, assuming I ever bring that back out. Um, Death by Cross Stitch, lots of fabric with that, um, any of my mirrors, I mean some of the smaller, some of the smaller ones I can, I can hold the frame, but the stand, 
Not bad. So for this and all of those scroll frames, I paid $36, I want to say, with shipping. Each one was five bucks. So yeah, it was like $25 in shipping for them both, whatever. Still totally worth it for half the price of what you could get one. Good deal. And honestly, even at full price, still a deal. Still a deal. So that was my exciting laying in bed at midnight, <laughs> pull the trigger purchase. I'm excited that I did it though. So I'm really thirsty now. Let me take a drink. Um, plans. Plans for the next two weeks. I am doing the Stitch Mania election stitch along. So I am going to be vlogging that and posting probably at the end, like the day after the election, when we're all like wasted from staying up and watching because who isn't going to be glued to their TV? Don't answer that. Um, I will be glued from to my TV on November 8th because, because this is like the most interesting election of my lifetime so far. Um, I'm 40, so I've voted a few times, um, and this is by far in my lifetime the most interesting election. And let me tell you, on my street, they're definitely rooting for who I'm not rooting for, so that's interesting. So I make myself feel better by turning the corner <laughs> where I feel like they're a little more friendly. I'm not going to tell you. So, so that's what I'm doing. I'm excited to get my hands on some whips that I haven't touched since probably Mania. I'm using all different things than I used with the Olympics challenge. I love challenges like this because I do get to touch something different every day and, and it just makes me feel good about myself. So hopefully I'll see some of you doing the same. Um, Again, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. You guys are all fabulous. Um, I think that's it. So we will uh, see you next time. Stay stitchy and uh, take care. Bye.